I'm going to pull a fast one here just to show you that uh, the differences between a Jeep and a Dodge 318. Now the block and everything else is identical. There are a couple of differences. The exhaust manifold is different. And because on the Jeep one, the starter bolts up on the passenger side, you've got the exhaust in the way on the driver's side, so you have to reiterate that. I'm going to have to change that anyway, though, on mine, because um, it, that doesn't clear the... Well, I have to put the starter on the other side, and it doesn't clear the left, which is right there. It's the same thing with the 3.9 as I did with this. Bring it in, just shoot it backwards. I should be able to repurpose my 3.9 239 V6 uh, cost manifold for that. All the same. It's got these plugs and whatever interior stuff. Probably body control modules and junk. But other than that, Exhaust is different. The manifolds are different. Don't quote me on that. I'm absolutely sure that the driver side manifold is different. The passenger side one probably is too, but we'll we'll find out. Um, the other important differences are the power steering pump, which exits from the top on this one. This I'll have to change to a Dodge one, which I have got in triplicate. Although to their it's got the same fitting as the Chevy does on it, so if you want to just down into your Chevy steering box like I've got, this will probably just hook up just like this. Where's the uh, uh, spigot for the inlet? Uh, I'll find it. Yeah, they got the same ignition coil, same everything. Oh, the uh, AC compressor is different too. But the Dodge AC compressor should bolt right down to this because the the front bracket's the same. So you should, in theory, and the water pump's the same, and pretty much everything's the same on these. I, I looked a bunch of parts up, and there's a lot of stuff that's the same. In theory, you should be able to take a 318 out of a Jeep, like a Grand Cherokee from 1998 or so, and shove it into a, say, a Dodge from like 1998, or a Dodge from 1990 that's got a 1998 transmission that's sitting in the garage hooked up to the other motor, which is, uh, yeah, well, you get the deal. Oh, yeah, here's my ugly motor mounts, too. You can see that. And then this one here has got two points of support. It did hold really well. I mean, it, they didn't they didn't move at all when I set the motor down on them this time, which was good. He's grade 8 bolt. I can't put a front support on that one because there is something in the way. What is in the way? Oh, the uh, starter and the steering shaft. So I had to take the LS mount off of that side because it was in the way of the, star the starter. I might saw the rest of that LS mount off of there just to make it easy so I could mount the engine a little bit lower to make it easier to mount the starter. But I don't really have to. I think that's going to be after power tour, assuming I still do it. So, yet to do, I need to take this 44RE torque converter off of here, off this 318 I've got. And just put it aside. I think, don't quote me on this, but it supposedly it's similar to, enough to the 42RE that it should fit this truck also. But I'm going to hang on to it just as a spare for whatever, you know, I, you get parts, especially when you bust things, especially when you fuck it up. Got to take the transmission to RH off of the back of that 239V6 that's in the garage. It's a Magnum, too. Put it onto the back of this, and then drop that whole assembly into here and hope to God it fits. I mean, it's got... That's a lot of room. That's like four feet. Well, that might be four feet. Let's look. Let's get to doing some measuring here. Oh, ah. Turn. Okay, You're still on. Good. So, uh, if you take a look at that, too, that's awesome. That is a nice little tunnel that you can jam your transmission up into a little bit. Like that 32RH fits in there, perfect. And you don't have to worry about cutting into the firewall or the floor or anything on this car. And you can keep your cables in the same spot pretty much. you got to be careful with this one because you don't want the shift cable to get melted or anything. So you got to zip tie it up away from the uh, hot thing. But other than that, I mean, and that cross member down there, I had to fabricate that myself. That's going to probably stay the same because I'm keeping the same transmission for this run. 
We're not going to mess with the 360 until I get back from Power Tour if I go. I really hope I do. I'm only going to do probably two days of it this time. As I can't, with all this crap, I can't afford to do the rest. <laughs> and they sold out of tickets before I got the car fixed up enough to go. So I figured, well, eh. Hopefully they got enough left for two days. So, well, assuming I can get this to work. And out of the Dakota, just shut out a uh, pinion seal. So I gotta fix that. The D100 blew a head gasket. Uh, oh shit, I gotta go to O'Reilly's. The parts are waiting for me there. And this thing, this is probably the, oh, I'm not gonna say that word. Oh geez, don't ever do that. But this here is uh, the best candidate for power tour right now. <laughs> Having no engine and transmission in it. That, that's saying a lot. But, I'll try it. So, uh, yeah, anyways, these are this 318 or 5.2 if you want to go Soviet. It's identical to a Dodge one, so if you're, wanna, if you're swapping, um, it doesn't matter. They're the same, same block casting and everything. Stick her in there, stick the Dodge electronics on it so your junk computer works on your Dodge and away you go. Or put a Speedoino like I'm doing on this one. And uh, you are set. See, it's even got the same hitch ups for the uh, throttle cable and the throttle valve cable for the transmission. So that's good. Oh, hell, this thing came with a throttle cable. That's slick. Oh, no, even better. Cruise control. Ha ha. If I could just make it work with a Speedoino or a custom belt system or whatever, that'd be perfect. All right. What? Oh, I don't like the way that bolts. Well, I guess it's big enough. It, it lifted it once and lifted it again. All right, there's our update. So basically, this is just a Dodge motor with the J word on it, so it costs more. All right, I'll see you later.